Oh, I got so many zits. <laughs> oh my god. I think the misophonia is gonna kill me. Real people. life. The what? The chewing noise. Oh no. Sorry guys. Sorry for all of this. Misophonia. <laughs> Me it? Misophonia. Misophonia. <laughs> Me so zitty. Just got a little breakouts right now. I it's shave. Fine. I shave. I shave. <laughs> That's what happens. I shave. So I shouldn't shave. No, it's fine. That's not bad. Oh, it's bad. These are crazy. I think I have cavities, so better off than me. <laughs> Check out this bread real quick. Check it out. This little small business. Bright Bread Company. They're like a female owned small business and the head baker is their grandma. She's 80 year old. Okay, I want to be you head almost baker. just hit me with that knife, I feel like. No, I didn't. And you can use a butter knife to cut this bread. It's so I soft. I should have. Look at this. But it's so yummy. Mm. Do you want a little butter on it? Yeah, that's, no, I don't, it doesn't need any butter. It's so good. Here but is. that's just like, Ooh. I love a little butter on it. It makes it like salty. Oh, queen. Pounding bread. Um, no. Thank you, though. Not good for my cavity. Mmm. Really good snack. I have to go to the dentist tomorrow to get a retainer for my top teeth. And you guys know, like, the whole tooth saga when I was missing my tooth and the gum graft and bone graft and all that good stuff. I chew... I chewed for like a while predominantly on the side that all that stuff wasn't on and I think it gave me cavities over there because I literally just only chewed on that side for months, weeks. I don't know how long it was, but I, I don't know, feel that. I don't know if you're going to have cavities or maybe it's just soreness. I mean, I'm scared. It doesn't feel right. Remember your mouth was hurting recently too? Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared. I also hate getting my teeth cleaned. I hate that noise and the way it feels. So I asked them if they could be gentle, like not scream as much. Mm -hmm. Gentle, um, girl. Please. Give me a break. Precious girl, give me a break. I actually like avoided my teeth cleaning appointments for ever so long. Like three years. Mm -hmm. Three or four years. So, well, last time I went was the first time I went in four years, and that was not fun. All right, but we are. You know, just itching for some home improvement per usual. But I think we've we've done something bad. The story is, I don't know if you guys remember from like previous clips or whatever, but um, this is like a gold frame and it's, this is our TV. By the way, it's a frame TV. <laughs> it's, in case anyone didn't know. Um, but the frame was like such a vibrant gold and we felt like it was just too like it wasn't the same as this mirror it wasn't brassy like that it was just really like bright Stream gold. yeah and so we thought it would look cool with like a kind of rustic black paint layer so we just did that ourselves and i think that it didn't it doesn't quite look right. like a rustic black layer i mean some parts look kind of <clears throat> good it's really like the top i think it looks better right here oh you do you know? I think we need to go all black. Yeah, so Very now black. we're considering spray painting it all black, which is going to make it a lot, like, harsher. But we have black hardware um, in our house, like the railing and the window sills and the curtain rod and stuff. So it definitely goes with the rest of the house. It is just going to be a little more intense. So we're considering just spray painting yeah, it. You know what I mean? Like a little heavy. I, I feel like the detail of the frame will be lost too. Like you won't be able to see like as, that it's like as ornate as it is. Okay, so now we're Can really we screwed. Completely screw it. Well, I don't want it to be the gold color that it was. So no, no. We can't get that either. But we could paint it a different color. Like we could paint it a green, mm -hmm. like a sage green or a forest mm -hmm. green or something, and see how that looks. Maybe we should go to Home Depot and pick out some colors. Mm -hmm. But now that we did this to it, you said if we spray paint it a color, we're going to have to like probably paint prime. it white we'll prime first. Prime it once. Yeah, probably prime it. Okay, so yeah, I think it looks pretty bad like this. But, you know, you can't you can't just hit it out of the park every time. And sometimes it doesn't work out. And that's okay. We've also been considering painting our mantle a different color. But mm -hmm. we haven't really done any like... Or not our mantle, our uh, hearth. Hearth? The brick. All yeah, uh, but we haven't done much like research or thought or 
helps blur. color what it might be. We thought maybe sage green or something like that. Yeah. Too. But, but that's should... like a little more committal is the only thing yeah. that we're worried about. The reason that we kind of thought of it is because it's a real fire and it's kind of done some like smoke marks, but. I just feel like this was so white right here and then this is like. Right. I also different. have been considering wallpapering this wall because it's kind of an awkward space to put anything on, but it just seems really blank to me. Like we have more maximalist style so we kind of just like everything to be have something going on so i think like a not like busy wallpaper like maybe not even a colored one maybe just a neutral textured one would be cool like i don't textured know textured wall yeah i just like to you know do a lot mess do the up. most mess it up <gasps> clean <laughs> mess it up in a good way okay hello guys Today I'm going to do a little makeup tutorial of clean girl makeup. On my channel, um, I've done a lot of like fashion focused videos on the clean girl aesthetic and trend. I actually have a whole video on just what it means, so if you're confused or you don't know what it is, I'll link that video so you can watch it, so I'll save you the spiel here. Um, but I'm going to start this with the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. This is like really good stuff i got this as a recommendation from you guys um for the sephora sale i have no self tan on my face so it's very white compared to my body um but yeah so i'm gonna start with that oh there's yard work going on right now i'm sorry um yeah the clean girl aesthetic this makeup is just like super simple and glowy and healthy looking kind of minimal um, and obviously like everybody interprets it differently, so do what feels good for you. I'm gonna go with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade 4.5. This stuff is literally so good. It's been viral for a while and for for damn good reason. I do wish that like there was a little better application process because I feel like it just doesn't, it's not that easy to get out of here, but it's incredible. And then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and just blend this out. And so this isn't really a foundation, I'm going so loud, but you could wear it just on its own, but it just gives you like really glowy, kind of nice, minimal coverage base. And then if you want to go in with like a little more makeup, you can. Like if I was going to the beach today or something, I would probably just put this on or not even put this on and just do like a tinted moisturizer. Um, that's kind of what this is like, honestly. And then I'm going to go in for a little more coverage. So I've been loving this NARS um, Light Reflecting Foundation. I got it in the shade 2.5, I believe. Two pumps of that. Just gonna go in with my beauty blender again. And this just creates a little more coverage. Today we are going to get our tattoos of the month. Clayton and I get tattoos every month this year. Just like a fun little challenge kind of that we're doing. Clayton wants to be like fully tatted, so it just takes a lot of time. And I like tattoos too, so I was like, well, I'll just do it with you. Um, so that's what we're doing today, and then our besties Liv and Kale just got back from Canada, so they're here right now. We're going to meet them for dinner after, so I'm like, I'm doing some stuff today. I'll do no concealer today, keeping it a little more simple, and I'm going to go in with this um, Dibs Duo Stick. I, don't, I think this is Desert Island. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my cheekbones and my forehead, nose. This is a bronzer, like not a contour, but I'm kind of using it as a contour. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just pat this out everywhere. Just 
So for the clean girl look, I'll use mostly, um, what am I trying to say? Um, not liquid, but like cream based products instead of powders. Cause it just creates like a more glowy, fresher look. I am an oily girl though, so I might have to do a little setting powder. So this stick actually has blush on the other end. It's a really pretty color, so I'll do some of that too. On the bridge of the nose, I'll do just a tiny bit on the forehead. Actually just the cheeks. If I do a little more blush, I have a new cream blush that I want to try for Bare Minerals. I might do that on top. I feel like a lot of blush looks really good for this style because it looks just sun-kissed and youthful. Let me use this oil blush that I have. I shared this. I bought this off Instagram. I shared it on a vlog before. It's the brand Euphoria. It's actually a green oil that changes for your skin tone. It's so pretty. Okay, they're really loud outside. Um, I'm gonna do my brows next. So I actually shaved off the tail of my brow the other day. I put it on um, TikTok, you guys. I wanna know what I'm talking about, but it gives your brows, it gives your face like a lift, lifted effect, especially if you have like kind of a longer tail of your brow that goes like down, if that makes sense. Um, and I actually see a difference. I like it. I've been wanting to try that for a while, so I finally just pulled the trigger and did it, but obviously it's not for everyone. Anyways, I'm gonna take this Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade, I think it's 4.5. Okay, I'm gonna take kind of underline the bottom of my brow. Get in. No way. I can't. This one. I need to do a little powder. Okay, I'm just going to take the Laura Mercier setting powder in the translucent loosened chain and just do a little bit of powder especially like under my eyes I don't want to mattify too much but I'm just gonna try to keep my oil under control forehead gets the oiliest I'm gonna take a little bit of that bronzer on a fluffy brush and run it over my lids as well for a little bit of dimension and then for this look I like to do a little powder shadow wing I'll just take an angled brush this is the Tartlet toasted palette I'll just use um, cozy and fireside so like a reddish brown and a deeper brown. We're gonna curl our lashes. I've been using the, um, frick, what's it called? It comes in like a gold bottle a lash serum. You can get it at like Sephora. I don't know what it's called. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, but it works so well. My lashes are really long right now. I'm going in with the Ilia Mascara. And I'll just do a pretty light coat. Uh, I don't want it to be very intense. And then I'm going to put a little brow gel in too. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one in the shade Chocolate. very light 
flare of that. I'm not much of a highlight girl normally, but I've been obsessed with this stuff. It's from Fenty Beauty. It's the Kilowatt Illuminator. I'll put a little bit of this on my beauty blender and just work it in. It's so pretty. I love the consistency of it. Do a little bit on my nose. Do a little on the forehead. Okay, so since I already did powder, I'm going to do a powder blush now. Um, this is Natural Beauty by Tarte. It's more of like a reddish tone. I want to be a little more rosy. Now we're going to do some freckles and lips lips i've been loving this lip crayon it's the maybelline super stay in shade 100 or reach high and it's super like creamy and smooth you can actually use this for your whole um lipstick if you want like so it's really close to my natural lip color. What the hell? Alexa, stop. Then I'm going to go in with this YSL in the shade 47, I think, lipstick. Also very close to my natural lip color. This one's a little lighter and the liner is a little darker than my lip color. And then... For gloss, I'm going to use this Fenty one, um, Fenty in the shade Glow, Fenty Glow. Again, very similar to my lip color. I love a glossy lip for this look. Now we're going to do some freckles. I have the misguided freckle pen. And then I also like to use freck. So I'll do a little bit of both. And like I always go over uh, any freckles that I actually have to make them come through a little bit more. Freckles and or beauty marks that I have. And because um, they get a little covered by the other stuff. And then I just add more for like a youthful sun-kissed look as well the beauty marks that I have I make them darker and then we'll finish off with some setting spray I'm gonna go in with two I like the uh, Charlotte Tilbury one because it just like holds your makeup so well all day And then I like to go in with this iconic London one because it's so incredibly glowy. We just bathe in that. And then we air it out. I'm gonna go get dressed and then I'll show you guys how this like sets. Okay guys. Here's how she looks. I love this makeup for summer or honestly any season. Just super glowy and I don't know. It looks very healthy. That's it. Uh, Alright, we just stopped in for lunch at one of our favorite little spots. A little local joint called La Fa. Yeah, La Fa. We get the tofu, tofu vermicelli noodle bowls here. It's in Huntington Beach. Yeah. So good. We got spring rolls today. Yeah, I haven't had this. Yeah. I bet they're good. I almost wanted so to good. add them on me too. Just, oh my god. I just to do it on. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a little lunch right now. And today's actually a pretty exciting day. Okay. Alright, gave us some better lighting here. Wow, you can actually see our faces. That's nice. <laughs> I'm sorry for vloggers now. Wow. 
Today's big day. Big day yeah. Go. I'm being a model today. Big modeling day. Well, I would say you're like a model influencer. Model influencer today. Because, it, like, it's for your likeness, too. For my likeness, wow. Yeah. So, thanks, you guys, for making me like. You're so like. <laughs> but it's uh, for our net. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna be gonna be able to show because I don't know if they want us to right. post stuff before the right. glasses are released. He's shooting with like a famous photographer. Yeah, Gunnar Stahl. Like we like went on his Instagram, yeah, and he was shooting for like KKW. We're like, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool though. I'm so excited. Just go to downtown LA. It's just gonna be like a quick hour. So Delaney's gonna be stage momming, helping me out. My hair is acting up a little bit today, so I gotta. Care that it's a reverse roll. It's reverse roll. Yeah, it is. It's like it's just like waving around. Like the wind really blows around these days. See that? I, like I need I need a trim though. I think it's because it's like so low. I'm not used to it. Yeah. Also. But then like when I. Your hair. Like your, so if you like gel your hair, it's like a good job. Like if you brush your hair back yeah. and do it, like your hair is not going to talk about flying I just like the, I like the curly front. Okay. That's okay, but it's probably just going to be a lot You know? Hopefully it's not windy anymore. We're having hair drop. A lot of hair drop. It seems like it does this like weird part. He's like... Like see, it's like, it starts to part like that. It's like, what is it going on over there? That does it. What does that? And it's flat. It's flat right here. And Anyways. It's just hard in the wind. You guys think my hair looks different these days? <laughs> he thinks it's thin and literally look how much there is. Like, there's so much. Spinning out. No, but I'm so excited. I'm going to be a stage mom. I'm going to be like behind. I'm really excited to be behind the camera. Well, I'm not like taking the photos, but I'm just excited I don't have to go do the yeah. in front of the camera part. And um, this, I'm gonna is, be this like, doesn't happen very often. No, and I'm going to be like coaching and cheering and like filming and stuff. This is going to be the first time, actually. I'm excited. I love this. Can this be a break? Yeah, I'm trying to. So if anybody needs me to model for them, call it. <laughs> Please. We're, we're down. We're down. All right. Lunch time. Okay, these are the tofu spring rolls here. Never had them. Their tofu here is like marinated, and oh, it's, it's always so nice. good. Good first reaction here. Good. They look unreal. Mm -hmm. Really good. There's something really crunchy in there. It's so good. Oh, crunchy. We always like a crunch. Me too. I'm over here. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, these are the bowls. Tofu vermicelli bowls. Unbelievable. It looks so good today. Yes, yeah, so come check this place out. Lafa Huntington Beach. Can't go wrong. Perfect lunch. You know? Oh my god, the best. Not too heavy. And they're only open on the weekdays. Yeah, weekdays only, I'm pretty sure. Come and get it. Today is laundry day, and we used to be a little less stressed on how we would separate all of our clothes and just kind of do like darks and lights. Um, but now we were having some washer issues, and we'd have clothes turn out to be pink, like white items turn out to be pink, and collared items have dark stuff on them. So now we're completely separating everything. And we got like this colors pile here that I'm gonna probably separate into the same colors. Got our whites, tan little pile there. Doing all the darks right now. But we, have, we were having this issue where like all of our, like randomly these clothes would turn pink. Actually like this pair of denim. Can't, not sure if you can tell, but this is all pink down here. It's a yellow pair of pants, but you can probably tell on this tag. It's like pink. And I thought it was like maybe like a, a highlighter or something was in the wash, but there never was anything in the wash. 
So then the other week I ran a test because there was there's this pink bra that Delaney has, but she's had it forever. So we're like, there's no way that that's what's leaking. Sure enough, I ran a test with our dish rags. Put all of our dish rags in there and Delaney's pink bra. And sure enough, it bled. So we found the culprit, trashed the trash that bra because it was ruining everything. Like literally, we have a, one of Delaney's favorite turtlenecks got ruined. Those were like her new favorite pair of jeans got ruined. But luckily, we thought it was like not the, the bra because she's had it forever. So it's probably been bleeding on our clothes for the longest time. But it doesn't bleed in the wash, it bled in the dryer. So once it was heated up, it was then transferring. Because when I took these out of the wash, there was no pink on them, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the whole process. Put them in the dryer, sure enough, everything was had pink on it. So that sucked. But we're still being a little extra careful with everything, so I'm separating everything. Uh, but I just thought that was something to share because who would have thought that this old bra that we've been washing forever would have had it? But sure enough. So yesterday was the photo shoot, and I, we haven't watched back the footage yet, but unfortunately I'm not supposed to share what the glasses look like, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to include any of that. Do you think you got clips without it? No. How the glasses show? No, not really. I mean, Probably not. You're sworn to secrecy. I'm sworn to secrecy. But I actually really enjoyed it, the, like doing that. I would do it more often for sure. You should. So holler at me if you need a model. You did a good job, babe. Thanks. Delaney's having a little slumber right now. We did yoga. I'm right now. She's sleeping. I'm sleep talking. We did yoga today. Our fave. <laughs> and sleep uh, we've just been kind of chilling today. Running errands. Mm -hmm. About to go run some more. But yeah, photo shoot was fun. We'll see. Delaney was a good. Uh, I was just holding you, it yeah. down. I was you know? like bodyguard vibes. That was like what I used. That's like what I know. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's kind of chill, huh? You just kind of like vibe in, like. Yeah, I loved it. So now you know what it's like to be me at your shoots. It looks so good. Okay, I don't know what You're like a bus. Yeah, there's a sprinter van and stuff. It was nice. It was super nice. The glasses were really cute too. The glasses were cute. Cute. Boys, they're cute. cool actually. They're cool. Yeah. 90s. 90s on. Look wanna, at the color of my leg and the color of my face. You want to talk to me about our herbs? Like, is this okay? This one. I don't have no tan on my face. Because you take care of that face. Sunscreen every day. No matter what. No matter what. Uh, but today I think I'm going to go to Home Depot and pick out some paints. Or a paint, spray paint, mm -hmm. gonna do spray paint. I think we should spray because, paint it like a dark gold. Yeah, I think we're thinking dark gold, maybe a black, I don't know. I'll probably no, just get the dark no, gold. No, I think black is gonna look like. Oh, my head hurts right now. Oh, drink my water. I think black is gonna look too harsh. I think we should do like a dark, like a antiqued gold. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then I'll pick out a couple swatches for our mantle too, see what see what's cooking. We're just a typical American, you know, like home improving on a Saturday. Typical American. What? It's so quintessential Isn't that American. What everybody does? Going to Home Depot. Literally, hey everybody! The joke. I'm at Home Depot. Like everybody's there on Saturdays. Right? Yeah. Should you not go on a Saturday? No, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. I'll be quick. Let's you want me to come with you? Yeah, you don't have to. Oh, yeah. oh, I'll come right with you. I'll come rub on. your head in the okay. car. I need to drink some water. Bye. So I can't bring. <laughs> You're not sleeping. You're sleepwalking right now. You're me. You cannot be me. What are you doing? What are you doing? Can't bring you. Actually, it's a beautiful color. It's like a little orange creamsicle.
Like this should be the color what is of that? cars. Wood glue. All right, we're picking out the paint. What do you think, babe? I think in this hammered brown will look good. Timber oil. Okay, what are you doing over there? She doesn't even look at the right stuff. <laughs> She's literally not even looking at the right stuff. Okay. Are you talking shit about me? Yeah, I am. Uh -huh. Okay. Also, there's this metallic gold plate color. So is that what it's going to be? It's going to be pretty gold. That's like the same color we started with. Like no, we the one that we started with was like bright gold. Are these even different colors though? Okay. Are these They're not. So Khaki. I don't think the lids are accurate. Those are different. Khaki? Khaki. Mm. Not it. What do you think about the matte sea green? That's too light. That's kind of maybe the color that we might paint our... I would do this before I did that. Oh. But I don't think that's right either. Deep forest or hunter green? Oh. Or could you just go like dark? Gloss espresso? Mmm. Those are all kind of nice. What is this? Matte espresso? No, it's not gloss. What about this? Satin. That's going to be a little matte. Gloss. We want it to be gloss. What's that? Yeah. Metallic? Metallic rust. That sounds sketchy, doesn't it? Is this the same? Metallic dark copper. No, that can't be right. I don't know, man. What about this color? Ooh. It's pretty Would that light. be weird? Antique white. Ooh. Would that be weird? Would it be like... And because our walls are so white and you have that? It would be like, um... I don't know. I don't know. What's this? That kind of looks like the one you were looking at. Espresso with. brown. Okay, we're gonna go with this hammered brown color. Hope that works. I'm gonna pick out a few swatches for the fireplace. What do you got there? Some sea greens? That's what we're kind of thinking, like some greens. Do you like, like this one or this one better? I think I like this that, one better. That sheet, yeah. Yeah. So that Maybe came like, from right here, so. See, like. What's the name of that? Lewisburg? Lewisburg? Lewisburg. Those are pretty nice. Tate Olive's kind of nice. What if we did like a yellow? Um, I feel like that doesn't work in our space. Yeah. But like the Marblehead Gold. The what? Marblehead Gold right there. These are historical colors. Didn't even know that existed. I'm just all right, let's go. Let's start, let's start with those ones. All right, here she comes. Our wonky frame. It's okay, we tried. We, we were getting artsy. Okay, we are going to spray paint on this tarp. Okay, let's see how this goes. There's a little more color. How do you feel about that? Color. Just gotta keep going. We're gonna probably do a couple layers. We'll check back. Oh yeah, it looks good. I like okay. it. Okay, I think it's better. It kind of looks just like a wood color now. We're gonna let it dry for 20 it's minutes. Like the gold showing through a little bit. The black showing through. Yeah, a little bit. looks like antique wood almost. It's got a lot going on. It does. I think it's better though. Okay. Okay. How, like? how do we feel about her? What does she look like? Oh gosh. What? Oh goodness. What, what have we done? <laughs> oh no. It's gray. What color is that? It's like grayish. I'm not sure if I hate it though. She's different. What in the world? It's not terrible. You know? Can you turn the TV yeah, on so it has art? Actually. Okay. It's different for sure. I do like the little spots where the gold is kind of like peeking through. Yeah. Maybe we should like sand the paint off a little. I, don't know. I definitely don't hate it actually. Oh, don't forget. Some weird movie. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Not too bad. Not too bad. Kind of like it. I'm into it. I'm not not into it. You know? Yeah. Like I was, I was not, not into the... No, you were not into the... I was not what? into the... 
previous round. Oh yeah, like where it's like peeking through. Like yeah. On this lighter, I don't think the sanding is gonna look great. But I feel like it, it's peeking through enough. Yeah, it's giving peeking. Okay, I vibe. <laughs> A man in his TV. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it for now. I, yeah, I think it's not bad. It's interesting, like. It's like, I wish they had more colors of spray paint. Definitely like thicker coating. Like we did a really odd, odd job. It's not terrible though, babe.